Hey Morningstar, last week I had the honor and the joy of accompanying our very own Ken Willard uh, over to Kansas City. We had the privilege of speaking uh, to a couple hundred pastors and Christian leaders on the subject of, of Ken's recent book, Time Management. Uh, when I think of our current message series, Follow, Ken is like the epitome of a modern day disciple, a guy who, who left his nets, left his boat, took up his cross, and chose to radically follow Jesus. Uh, back in 2008, Ken left the corporate world where he did coaching and leadership training. Uh, he brought his talents to kingdom work. He, he's written books on Christian leadership, designed leadership curriculum that's being used in churches, honestly, all over the United States. And, and he spent the last you know, seven years of his life investing to make pastors and Christian leaders and churches in general more effective for God's kingdom work. And, and I've had the joy of having that front row seat to see how God has used Ken, his gifts and passions, uh, to help others and in turn grow Ken as a follower of, of Jesus himself. And, uh, and you know, man, as a pastor, there's no greater joy uh, than for, for seeing folks uh, in our church take those kind of steps of faith and witness then how God leverages that faith for his greater glory and, and at the same time brings incredible breakthrough into their lives. So after leaving Kansas City on Thursday, uh, Ken stayed over. I came back home to, to unpack, repack, grab the family, and head south to, uh, to Jackson, Missouri for my 30-year high school class reunion, class of 1985. Uh, I'd actually only been able to attend one reunion since graduating, uh, either my 10th or 15th, can't remember which. So, so either way, it'd been a lot of time since I'd seen, honestly, most any of my classmates. I, I saw some of the high school jocks, um, some of them who hadn't been to a gym since graduation. I saw some, some of those wild childs who were, were still trying to party like it was 1999 or 1985, as the case may be. But the thing I think that impressed me uh, most, that, that was just kind of impressed on my spirit, was the disparity between those who had chased hard after their dreams, those who had had their, their dreams kind of dashed against the, the stones, and those who, for whatever reason, had maybe never given themselves permission to dream. Now, the truth is, Jesus had a dream for each and every member of the 1985 Jackson High School student body. And he still does. He still has a dream for each and every one of us. Even though some might have stopped dreaming somewhere along the way, Jesus hasn't. He still has a dream, not just for each member of the class of 85, but each member of our body, each of you. God doesn't see you as a former jock or geek or stoner or loner. He sees you today as full of potential, full of promise. To him, you're not the class of 85. You're not high class or low class or no class. He wants you to be in his class. And so his invitation to you, to me, is the same. Follow. Come, follow me. Friends, no matter where you are in your spiritual journey, Ken Willard is living proof that, that all of us might just be one step away from experiencing a true breakthrough with God. And here's the deal. Ken may have never even experienced that in the way he did if he wouldn't have been right-sized. His former employer kind of, you know, leaning him into early retirement. But instead of kind of throwing in the towel, Ken doubled down. He chose to take a step of faith, make some adjustments in his life and lifestyle, and now he's involved in the most fulfilling work of his entire life. Hey, you know, class reunions, they can be a trip down memory lane. But for me, they're an opportunity to witness God at work in our lives, to be thankful for the learning experiences God has afforded me, to level set the present, along with being able to focus forward into the future that God has prepared for me, for us, the one that Jesus, the future that, that he's inviting us to, to come and follow him. So listen, as you spend time with God this week, I invite you to step back and, and focus on the question actually we talked about in our small group this week. What dream did you have when you were a child? When you were going to, to high school, what was that dream? And what happened? And then ask yourself, well, what's my current dream? Do I have one? And, and is my dream God's dream? Does it represent God's very best for my life? Does it represent who God has created me to be, what God has, has called me to be? Does that dream honor him? Does it bless others? 
And does it ultimately bring joy to you? See, all three of those components make it a God dream, that it honors him, that it blesses others, and it brings you joy. You might do one of those three or two of those three and be successful, but listen, following Jesus isn't about being successful. It's about significance. It's about taking the life, this one and only life that God has entrusted to us and leveraging it, taking steps of faith, trusting God, following him, being willing to take up our cross and trusting him to meet our every single need. Hey, Morningstar, wherever you are on your journey, I invite you to take that next step into the future that God has already provided. Jesus is there. He's calling you. He's calling me. Come. Come follow, because I'm here, and I'm going to take care of you. Be the church this week. Can't wait to be in worship with you this weekend. God bless you.